Good morning, everyone. My name is Kel, and welcome back to another episode of Monday Morning Magic. Today, I have something really special from you. A set that a lot of people don't even know exists. Here we have... Magic the Gathering Renaissance. So this set is a foreign print run only, printed in French, Italian, and German. A lot of people don't know what it is. It's basically a black-bordered Chronicles, only printed in those languages that I just said. This one is a French version. I speak a little bit of French, so this will be a little bit better. I could read it out. And um, I think it was fairly uh, on point with it being a Renaissance and all. Here you can see it is eight cards. We have Deck Master, eight cart, a uh, collection, a uh, uh, jouet. I don't really know. Un jeu de Richard Garfield. Here on the back, we just have some interesting things. You can see it was made in 1995, and here you can see the sets that'll be in the pack: Antiquities, Arabian Nights, Legends, and The Dark. Only specific cards from each set. However, we could possibly get a Sylvan Library. Probably not. That's like best case scenario, but let's see what we get. Regardless, I'm excited. Let's do it. So here's our first card. Eternal Warrior. I will name the cards that I, uh, like, I know by heart. And, um, regardless of which, I will have, as always, an English version of the card right here. There should already be one. Right here. Do it. Put it in. Alright, so this card is a creature enchantment for one red, and I believe it gives the creature Vigilance. Attacking does not cost a tap. Good old Anson Maddox art. Our next card is Entity Psionic. Oh, I think it's Psychic Entity or Psychic Spirit. It is a 2-2 for four and a blue. I believe it is a spirit. And you can tap it and it deals two damage to a creature or player and three damage to you. I believe that's what it is. Look at that cool comic book style art. All right, next card. Oh, we have, uh, I think this is Dirkwood Boars. It is a 4-4, four, 4-4, four, 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 and a green. Just good old Boars. Our next card is Clay Statue. It is a 4-mana artifact with Regenerate. It's a 3-1. Yep. Good old Jesper Mirfer's art. Our next card is Giant Growth. It is an enchant creature for two red, and enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two. This <laughs> silly naked dwarf man. He's so angry, but he is pulling all of these things. Card. We have Battering Ram. So I believe this is a two mana, one one artifact creature, obviously. I think it has banding when attacking, and it destroys all walls that blocks it, or some, some interaction with walls. And our, well, we have two more cards. Our next card is Sisters of the Flame. This is a 3-mana 2-2 two, two creature. Uh, it costs 1 and 2 red, and you can tap it and add 1 red mana to your mana pool. I believe that's all it does. Look at that sweet 80s style art. She looks like uh, she's from a Stephen King movie made in the 80s, like Carrie. She's basically Carrie. And our final card. Oh, it's like uh, some sort of asp. I saw green and I was like... Come on, you can you can be Sylvan Library. Okay, so it is a 1-1 one, one snake for one green. And I'm not entirely sure what its ability does. But you can see it over here. Alright, as always, if I was chaos drafting this pack, I would probably take the clay statue. It's slow and clunky, but so is everything else. Maybe the Dirkwood Boars? But um, this one has 3-1 and it has regeneration, which is probably a big deal. Yeah, that's my pick. Second pick, uh, Dirkwood Boars, I suppose. So if you liked the video, then make sure to turn in next week for yet another episode of Monday Morning Magic. I hope you enjoyed it all. Have a good one.